on the way to Japan. We are at Newark Airport and you would not believe the amount of stuff we have. I don't know, you may think it's a lot or not. That's our checked bag. That's carry-on. And all this <laughs> snacks and toys. Kenzo, hey! Hi. Hi. And Daddy Hi. and oh my gosh, the girls are so sleepy but they haven't cried yet. We're doing good. Ah, uh, wish us luck. This is going to be like a 24 hour travel day. Ah, so cool to see a Mama Va nursing lounge at Newark. I did an article for this for Mama Nearest one time. I've never actually seen one. This is so cool. Private space to nurse and breastfeed and pump. Whoa. Hey. So nice. Oh my gosh. Really nice. Bye. And they've got a plug to plug your pump in. Hey guys, and sit down and relax. But we're not gonna use it because we are done breastfeeding. Let's go to the plane. Oh. It's 5.30. We haven't even boarded the first flight yet and we are like done. Oh, you need headphones? <laughs> we arrived in Canada. First stop. Got it go through customs and change planes and uh, catch our next flight to Vancouver and then catch another flight to Osaka. Whee! Where's Emmy? Mia? She's got a baby up there. Got a baby. Back here. On the stroller. Karen Estes. Let's go Kenzo. We made it to Toronto and we are transferring to a flight to Vancouver. We had to go to through customs, but it was super fast and easy, like like two minutes. It was awesome. So now we're on a bus to change to another terminal or something, and we've got two sleeping babies. She's under there. And uh, Kenzo is such a trooper. How are you doing, Kenzo? Yeah. How was the first flight? Yeah, yeah what are you doing? Trying to put on your seatbelt? You excited? Yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going? Japan. Ah! There we go. Going to Japan, but next stop is Vancouver. because our um, second flight was delayed, which would have made us miss our third flight. So our second and third flights got totally changed. And our big long flight is now our second flight. We're going from Toronto to Haneda, Tokyo, and then a tiny little flight to Itami near Osaka. So this is like a 15 hour flight we're about to get on. Oh my God. Yeah, here we go. We are on the flight to Haneda. We just got on. He's been awake for like 10 hours already. We got up at 2 a.m. He's so tired and everybody else. Emmy! We having snacks. Hey guys. We got a row of four seats to ourselves even though we only paid for three. Awesome! And we are gonna be going soon. This is a really long flight. I don't even know how long it is because we weren't originally booked for this flight. I think it's gonna be like 15 hours, what do you think? 15. But it's really nice and new, Air Canada, look at this. We have um, power outlets in each seat, so <laughs> you're gonna go to town with the iPad. Yeah. We're sharing a seatbelt. Little conjoined twins over here.
many times with kids, but we have never before used the changing table in the bathroom. This is our first time ever having poopy diapers on a flight, and this is our second so far. So today, woohoo! But this thing basically flips down. It's like stowed up here. And you flip it down, and it's awesome! Hey, baby girl! You gonna sleep soon? Yeah. Okay, but it's like really tight quarters, see? journey to Japan all in all it wasn't hell uh, we could have done without four hours of me being puked on by this little chica <laughs> that made it pretty horrible we weren't sure if it was just something you know she'd been eating kind of bad all day we weren't sure if that was the cause but later of uh, three days later to be exact uh, the same bug hit me and Emmy and daddy and our sister-in-law and then a couple days later hit Mia again and the grandma and the grandpa basically it hit seven of nine of us and it just plagued our entire trip it was awful but um, other than that the journey went all right we kind of got thrown for a loop when we landed in Toronto uh, to find out our next flight would be delayed to make us miss our third flight so we had, we spent an hour and a half at customer service being rescheduled. And finally they figured out they could send us to Tokyo and then on to a, even a closer airport to my husband's home than Osaka. So it ended up being a better route than we had originally planned, but you know, we just had to stand for an hour and a half at customer service and then uh, we had to wait a while, but they gave us lounge passes, so that was cool. And we got food credit. Air Canada was great. Our four-year-old watched tons of movies and stuff. He used his cozy phones, which I did a review on. I'll leave the link below. Uh, I used my cozy phones too. They were awesome. We didn't get sweaty or anything. Sometimes we had to readjust the, the speakers, but they were great. The girls didn't really like their cozy phones. They just, they wanted to watch the videos a little bit, but they didn't want to have anything on their head, unfortunately. But we brought tons of toys. I'll link to my toy suggestion blog post also for our toddler toys for travel. Um, but yeah, our trip to Japan wasn't so bad. It is so far, the jet lag is awful. It takes about five days of the kids waking up for several hours in the middle of the night. In Japan, actually, they were waking up at like two or three in the morning for the day. <laughs> it was awful. Uh, but stay tuned for another video of our actual stuff we did in Japan. And then I will follow it up with another video of our journey home which was so easy. Ah! <laughs> we deserved it, I think. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe and like and comment and let us know what kind of epic travels you've done with your kids, what you recommend bringing or tips and tricks and all that stuff. So um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Bye. 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 Bye.